Hey everybody, it's Finance Friday. So that means another update on what I have to do. So I'm here right now so that we can figure out what moves I've made, what finance stuff I've done, and where I'm going for the next week. So stick around. What's up everybody this is Leroy and welcome to my channel 40 and broke where we're all about getting out of debt saving investing and getting our finances under control so we can live the life we've always dreamed of because that's what it's all about living the life we've always dreamed of right now so finance Friday you know what that means we're coming in we're checking on our likes which the last video got 78 likes you guys are rocking it so we're gonna go right into drawing that card. Got my deck of cards right here. So we'll just we'll just do a card right meow. See what we got here. What do we got? We got a queen, 13. Right? 13? Yeah, yeah, queen 13. 78 plus 13, that's 91. I forgot to see where my uh emergency fund was at. But I believe it was 178, so 91 plus 178, that's what, 969? Somewhere right around there. So there we go. That'll put it at 969. Next week, I'll, or next uh, pay, all I got to do is put $40 on there. I'm going to be at my 1,000. So I'm getting that done right now. So once again, this video, however many likes we can get, $1 to the emergency fund. We're going to get over that $1,000. That's what I'm talking about. I really want to get that bumped up a nice amount. So let me get my shout outs out of the way. First, I want to give a huge shout out to Chrissy over at the Mom Life. It's where all the cool kids hang out, they say. So, I mean, I've been doing YouTube a year or so. Everywhere I hear about Chrissy at the Mom Life, Chrissy at the Mom Life, Chrissy at the Mom Life. So finally, I broke down and I went over there and I went on one of her lives. Hey, she is totally amazing. So I just wanted to say thanks for the other day when you gave me a shout out and boosted up the subs that I have. That's awesome. I almost wore my Spartan shirt today for that, but I figured with my ears and... I better wear I better wear a pretty good manly shirt. So, but anyways, I just wanted to say thanks for what you did. And I'm giving a shout out to Shy over at Mom Talks and Budgets. She said I had to come on here and say meow a bunch of times, and I told her I'd even do it with cat ears. Well, I don't have cat ears, but I have bat ears. So that's close enough. Look, but I got these. That's almost like a cat ear, but I got these wings, so well, so, Shy over at Mom Talks and Budgets, go over and check her out. Alicia Hands and Bands. She is another cash stuffer that is absolutely amazing. She does, she has an Etsy shop. She does her little tiny hands. Those things are hilarious. You got to go check them out. The tiny hands, you know. And then Deverse Debt, who did her thing with the sisterhood of the traveling hand, traveling tiny hands. Hilarious. You got to go check this stuff out. So um, Alicia Hands and Bands. She is another one that is all over the place supporting everybody. She's on Instagram pushing people's videos. She is great. So go check her channel out. Go check her Etsy channel out. She's got the savings challenges that she does and stuff like that. And then she has them on her Etsy shop. Last shout out, I'm giving it to Nora the Stock Explorer. She is awesome. She, I've talked about her before. And it's like I've said, you know, I've, I've seen so many of the women on that have commented just on my channel that have said, I wish I knew more about investing. I really want to get into investing. I don't know nothing about it. X, Y, and Z. It just seems like this huge daunting thing to them. Well, of course, you don't, if, if you go on the stocks, you're going to see a bunch of dudes mansplaining everything to you. You get enough of that from your husbands and your boyfriends and whatnot. You don't need another dude mansplaining something to you on YouTube. So what you need to do is you need to go check out Nora the Stock Explorer 
and she'll tell you how it's done. She can go right through the basics. She is awesome. She breaks down individual stocks. She knows how to do options. She knows how to do everything from beginning stock trading, beginning stock investing to trading options. I mean, her knowledge is, it's vast. It's, you know, bottom to top, everything you need to know. So go check her out, especially if you want to learn those stocks, you want to learn how to invest. Investing is the one way to build your wealth. You all know how to budget. You know how to cash stuff. You know how to set your money aside. You know how to save your money. You all do savings challenges. You guys are amazing at savings challenges. I mean, that was daunting when you first started. If investing is daunting to you also, just remember, baby steps. Just like you did when you were budgeting. So, and Nora can teach you that. Go check out her channel. It's, it's great. All right, so what do I got going on with my budget? How many no spend days do I have? My goal was 12. 12 days of Christmas, 12 no spends of Christmas. I have seven no spends so far. That's pretty good considering today's the 10th. That means I've only spent three days this month so far. Let's see if I can keep that, keep that going, keep that on a roll. It's December. I know I can barely believe it myself. And December, it's Today's the 10th, so we're a third of the way through this month. This month is all the, already a third of the way over. So I've been thinking, okay, I've already said that 2022 is my year of intent. It's my year of the small things. December is my month of contentment where I'm going to enjoy the small things. I'm looking at my goals, and I do enjoy the small things. I try to pay attention to everything going around on around me and be in the moment 2022 my year of intent like i said 2021 was my year to excel and i look back on my year and it's so this is my year in review what do i think i started taking youtube seriously and my subs exploded i've met so many amazing people i feel terrible because Everybody watches my videos, comments on my videos, and it's amazing. I play catch up. I have everybody on a watch list. That watch list runs constantly. If I'm not actually watching the videos and commenting on them right then, those videos are being run in the background while I'm doing everything else. If I'm out working in my barn, videos are running. If I'm working around the house, cleaning up the house, videos are running. I'm listening to the videos. I'm paying attention to them. And then I try to go back and comment on them. I'm like eight days behind on commenting. So I just want everybody to know I'm truly sorry. If you have videos that I haven't commented on, I just want you to know they have been watched. They've been watched in full. I just haven't made it back to comment on them. I apologize. I try to get as many of them done as I can in a day, but it is hard to keep up. And I know everybody understands because everybody else says the same thing, but I feel just as bad as everybody else does when they say this also. So I just wanted to come on and say, I'm sorry if I haven't commented on your videos, but they have been watched. I even play the videos at night while I'm sleeping so that if I don't, even if I don't get a chance to comment, at least you're getting the watch hours. Once again, rambled off on a totally different tangent. My, Like I said, year to excel. I think I've done great. I mean, I've done a lot of stuff around the house. I've done a lot of stuff outside that I was procrastinating on. But I, I've got a lot more little stuff I need to do. And I plan on doing that this winter. A lot of stuff that I procrastinated on, I knocked a lot of it out. And I want to start planning. Like I said, the year of the little things, I'm going to start planning. I need to start making my small goals. I know the big goal, the big goal is the million dollars in two years. Huge goal. Now for the small goals, what steps am I going to take to get there? And one of the things I need to do is I need to start planning my days. So I've got that planner right there that I've been using my little calendar. You know what? Somebody tell me what planners you like down in the, um, um, down in the comments below. What planner do you guys use? Tell me down below. That way, I want to find something that's that shows me maybe a monthly with a little bit of thing I can put my goals on. Maybe 
things that I'm thinking about, inspirational quotes, stuff like that. I don't want nothing super fancy, but I don't need something that's just like a calendar. You know, if I, it's a little more than a calendar, something simple, like simple for like a guy, you know, like me. So just, I'm, I'm just a guy that does simple things. I need, you know, simple things, huge dreams. 2022, 52 week challenge. That's what I'm going to do. I thought about doing the 100 envelope challenge. That just seems like a big uh, undertaking. But the 52 week challenge, I have attempted to start this numerous times. I attempted to start the 52 week challenge. Never did it. Always got about a month or two in, spent the money. Now I really, I'm going to crack down on it. I'm going to do my version of it. I'll probably save uh, $53 every paycheck because that would be high range and then the lowest range. And then I just work, meet in the middle. And then the other one challenge I want to do is over at Hands and Bands. She's got that scratch off challenge. That thing looks super fun. I'm going to do that one also. So I've got to order that while I'm thinking about it. And then um, I said the local food pantry was going to get my donation this month. And that'll be who it is from now on. I had one person tell me they said I should. Uh, there was something that if you're in the UK, it's called Muffin Pugs. And it's an animal rescue. And they do stuff to help animals get that have been in abusive situations. They retrain them. They, re -help, they help them. They retrain them. And they find them new homes. So if you're in the UK, that sounds awesome. You know, so, and I even think that I'll donate to an animal shelter that's in my area. I think there's one, if there's not one here in my town, I'll, I'm going to check the town next to me. I know for a fact there's one over there. So here I am rambling on once again, because I like to hear myself talk. So me and my cat ears, we're going to get off here, right? Meow. And <laughs> so there we go. 2022, my year of intent, year of the small things. I think 2021 has been a great year. End it strong. Start 2022 on a great foot. We're going to hit the ground run in 2022. And all right, everybody, y'all have a great day, a great weekend, and let's hit it so we can live the lives we've always dreamed of.